A truly unique flower will soon bloom at the Chicago Botanic Garden. As CBS 2's Ed Curran reports, it's the first time we've ever had this flower and this smell in the Chicago area. Crowds have grown at the Chicago Botanic Garden since the first whiff that the plant named Spike was about to bloom. Spike is a nickname, of course. The actual name is Amorphophallus titanum, otherwise known as the Titan Arum. Outdoor floriculturist Tim Pollock says the beautiful plant has been growing like a weed this month. He's been putting on about four to five inches a day. Spike is 12 years old, and this is the first time it'll produce a flower unlike one you've ever seen before. The flower on, on Spike here is going to get probably about six to seven feet tall, we're expecting, and the flower will open up to about 48 inches in diameter. It's actually a flower structure that contains perhaps hundreds of smaller flowers. Spike has another nickname, the corpse flower. Here at the Chicago Botanic Garden, people love to stop to smell the roses. The corpse flower, not so much. Rotting animal, the dead animal, um, dirty old socks. That smell of rotting flesh attracts pollinators like flies. The bloom will come at night and only last a day or so. It'll actually fully open right around midnight, the night that it does flower. So for the first time ever, the Chicago Botanic Garden will be open until 2 a.m. That may happen late this week. And one of the rarest things in the plant kingdom, the corpse flower, is native to Sumatra. And that's it. So to have one bloom in Glencoe is a big deal. The Botanic Garden folks estimate that about 16,000 people have visited the garden since the special event was announced just about 10 days ago. So only when it blooms does it produce that sort of fragrance that makes you want to hold your nose? Just prior to the bloom and then during the bloom itself, yeah. And so the smell will not disappoint or extremely yeah. disappointing. I'm going to bring a can of Glade with me. <laughs> exactly. That's probably not a bad yeah. idea. And a clothespin. Sure. Thank right. you, Ed. Thanks. Appreciate